Hello, hello to all of my Virgos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your Sunday reading, Virgos. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you if you're interested in a personal reading. My information is down below. Let's start off with the fact that we are, we're closing out this cycle, right? So you're going to finish strong in this cycle. Remember, you're creating a life that you absolutely love and a life that you're pleased with, right? So that's first and foremost. The second thing is, is that we have a new moon in Sagittarius coming up on the 23rd of this month, right? And so Sagittarius moon or moon in Sagittarius brings hope, new ideas, and big dreams. This energy is a mix of fun and determination. So if you're determined to create a life that you absolutely love and a life that you are pleased with, you're going to have to be open and taking some kind of action, tapping into that masculine energy. Um, because Sagittarius uh, symbol looks like a half a moon, half horse. It's like you're always shooting your arrow towards the stars and saying, you know what? I'm going to aim on that high vibrational thing over there where I love my life. I'm at peace with my life. I'm, I'm pleased with my life. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to aim and I'm going to shoot for that. What is my aim? So here's some questions you may want to ask yourself while I'm laying the cards out. Um, what is your heart yearning to learn and do? The second question you want to ask yourself is, where do you want to be in five to 10 years? The third question you want to ask yourself is, what are the main challenges on my path, on your path to your envisioned future? The fourth question is, the fourth question is, um, is are there ways to solidify your foundation for taking off perhaps saving money so that you can leave your job or yearning or learning a new skill and then last but not least is are you on your path the path that source you know that you chose for yourself here we have the death card right death card just means that you are leaving behind something that was very painful it could have been a physical death um, especially now they're around the holidays. A lot of people are, that's why I was like, like, let's be more sensitive and be more gentle with each other. It's a human race, you know, first and foremost with yourself, because you don't really know what people are challenged with. Like I said before, people are challenged with deep disappointment, heartbreak, you know, and, and this is a three of swords, but I do see somebody, the six of swords sailing away from that. Just like, you know what, I'm not going to give a whole bunch of energy to it, right? These could be people, people that you work with. These could be people in your family, people that, I mean, in a grocery store that you don't even know could be dealing with some kind of the ending of something. We don't know who lost their job. We don't know who lost out on a new friend. We don't know if somebody experienced death in their life. I mean, all you have to do is look at social media and find out every time you turn around, you're seeing something happen. So a lot of people are dealing with the stress of this, right? But I do see, I do see somebody continuing to work very hard and really stay focused. Like I said, things you may have been disappointed in, but just working hard and just staying focused and moving forward, right? Even maybe even picking up something else creatively to balance out your money, maybe a second job or... You know, a lot of people will work through their grief. Like, let me find a new project I can work on. But I do see some new inspiration coming across somebody's path. Not necessarily in the love department, unless that's what you want. But I do see a huge weight has been lifted because, again, somebody is finding something that's going to keep you nurtured so that you don't have to focus on mourning something. You know, something like, a like I said, a friendship, a job, a something, like I said before, somebody is just finding something else to, to turn, I mean, turn their attention to, you know, and turn it away from something else. Um, you know, like, like I said, they go to six of swords again. We have the lover's card. Uh, we also have the king of cups. We also have the eight of cups. We also have the seven of pentacles and also the five of cups. So somebody has been lamenting over something like emotionally, somebody has been really focusing on this right here, leaving something behind. Like, I mean, like really also, let me help somebody with something too, is that whatever you are giving a whole lot of energy to, I'm trying to think which act, what's, um, I've heard quite a few celebrities say this, but it is absolutely the truth. 
like whatever you are, whenever you have a negative thought about something to immediately switch it to something positive, right? It's like, for instance, looking at this right here, the six of swords coming out twice. It's like somebody is eventually going to sail away from something. You could be disappointed by something and say, you know what, let me just sail away from something because this is just too disappointing. I already have enough heartbreak. I always have already have enough disappointment and, and changing that into something positive. Like, okay, if, if I got all of this help from my ancestors uh, or some people who, or somebody who may have transitioned, I got a lot of help on the other side there has to be something greater that source is bringing me into, like getting me as far away from this. I've been trying to adapt, but this thing is causing me to overthink. Remember the sword energy is connected to the element of air. Air is connected to your heart chakra and the heart chakra is connected to your thinking. So somebody has been giving a lot of thought to something, right? And source is saying to you, for somebody to set up some kind of an altar to a loved one who may have transitioned over and, and start talking to that. Because again, somebody has been in a, in a space of lamenting over something like, you know, the five of cups here, like somebody has really just been, you know, I don't know, maybe somebody like this person is kind of kneeling. It looks like the person is kneeling at a table or a bedside or something like this on this particular card. But somebody may have been kneeling and crying or praying or talking to Source about something. Um, and Source is really trying to, trying to put somebody in a position where you are stepping into your own light, your own life purpose. What is your life purpose, right? What is it? Right. And uh, something that you're doing where you're in a position of wisdom, a lot of compassion, you're helping people with something. So whatever it is that you've had to go through, and I'm not sure again who I'm talking to, but whatever it is you had to go to, Source is trying to use that to help you to help other people. And that's where part of somebody's wealth is. So... um that could also be the new inspiration that's taking weight off. And it could also be the additional stream of income that I'm seeing here for somebody. But I do see somebody's money growing. I do see somebody's money growing. So keep the faith and continue stepping into your own light because I'm seeing it here. You know, continuing to step into your own light. And no matter how disappointed you may be in something or someone else, Source is saying to you, Stay focused because I have work for you to do in inspiring other people. And in inspiring other people. Let's see what else we have. Let's see what else we have. Let's see what else we have. Let's see what else we have here. The Ten of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Cups. We also have the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles the eight of pentacles, and also the six of pentacles. So like I said before, on this side of death, it's there's a lot of mourning, a lot of grieving, a lot of sadness. But Source is saying to you, have a conversation. Like have a conversation with Source and let Source know your heart. You know, like somebody's lamenting over something. Like it seems like I'm I'm losing something. It even could be like, we're looking at the Ten of Pentacles legacy, right? I, I feel like I'm losing out on my legacy. I feel like this is just a real rough time, you know, right now. Here we have the Knight of Pentacles. Again, this came out twice with sources like, just keep busy. Just keep busy. Keep talking to source. Keep letting source know the desires of your heart and let source work on those things for you. Because this is what you're moving towards. Like I said, I'm saying perfect alignment. Perfect alignment for somebody's money. Be Remember, your time is your currency. So what is somebody spending a lot of time on, right? You know, you don't want to do this. Vibrate low. This is temptation. This is somebody who is a snake has already slithered away. And you have some deep emotions about it. This is not where you say, okay, well, I'm going to become like the venomous snake. And I'm going to go and bite somebody else either. I had an awakening and my awakening is what am I spending my time on? Because I could be working, making money, you know, part of the legacy could be my hard work, 
you know, when you like look back around, this is not necessarily about, this is more about hard work being your legacy and instilling that, right? When you think about like, what, what is the legacy that your parents left behind for you? What is the legacy that your parents left behind? So I'm seeing that somebody has the ability and part of the legacy could be, you know, hard, you know, your hard work ethic. Maybe that's it for somebody. Cause again, this is, this is too much. These are too many pentacles in somebody's card. And we know that time is money. So what is somebody spending their time on? So that's something that somebody may want to kind of sort of think about along with the, the five questions, you know, um, that I shared with you all. So let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have. Let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here. Flow like water. Spending time near water. It looks like this person is doing some kind of swimming. I don't know if they're at a beach or if they're at a pool or, you know, it looks like they're swimming, but it's all co so can be, you know, taking a spiritual bath or spiritual shower. We're talking about, and also listening to sacral chakra music could also help somebody to flush out the deep disappointment and, and really like refocus on whatever your legacy is. All right, let's see. Let's see what else we have here, Virgos. Have faith in your dreams. Yeah, this is, like I said, this is going to be a faith walk for somebody to like really have faith in their dreams and just almost like I got to turn away from everything else. That's a distraction for me. I got to get laser focused and move forward and just move forward and just move forward. Here we have the number seven. I am brilliant, right? You possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries, your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes gives you a greater awareness than most. Yep, a greater awareness than most. And let's see what else we have here for your affirmation card. Let's see what we have in your affirmation card. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Focus, affirmations for focus. I am devoted to a clear mind. I take action towards my highest goals daily. I am confident in my abilities. I release distraction. I get the important things done. I am organized. I am in control of my thoughts. I'm in control of my thoughts. That is what I have for you, Virgos. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, this video is a general reading, so take what resonates with you. Um, this video is for the remainder of November all the way through the end of December. Don't forget to be gentle with yourselves. If you are celebrating, I know it's subscribers all over the world, so some people are uh, celebrating or gearing up for celebration of the holidays. It's a very sensitive time for everybody. That's everybody. Uh, and so be gentle with yourselves and just know that there's options here. It's like, what am, I, what am I using my time for? But that's what I have for you. And I will see you all on Monday. Bye.